Well, here's a headline. Performance artists who have sex with a different man every day for a year. That's right. Misha Barisyan is a 26-year-old gay man who sometimes feels lonely and unfulfilled from sexual interactions initiated by hookup apps like Grindr and sites like Gay Romeo. So I guess uh, if you can't find a boyfriend, uh, you just have sex with a different guy every single day for a year and hope to find your one true love. See, Mike News, this artist really is planning to have sex with a new person every day for a year. Now, this just shows the absolute degeneration of our society uh, I mean people must be just bored out of their minds I mean we have just our economy is just completely crumbling I mean and we have this Russian born but based out of Berlin apparently uh, is captivating the news wires and the news feeds because he's going to have sex with another guy every single day for a year a different guy I mean, how is that news? Or I mean, how it, how is that art? He's supposed to be a performance artist. That is what art is. I I just I mean, I guess there's good art and there's bad art. This probably would consist of I mean, neither really. I don't even know how to define it. Uh, but either way, uh, this is I mean, who? How are they gonna? Is he going to have help finding these guys? Apparently he's going to do a documentary just, and a guy's going to follow him around and he's going to go try to have sex with a different guy every night. I mean, good luck. I would hope that there is not 365 real people, real men that actually are willing to have sex with this guy. Not only just have sex with him, but have sex the night after he's had sex with 20 other guys <laughs> and then nights before that had sex for the last month with another 30 guys or whatever <laughs> i mean it's just uh, but but hey wait wait he's 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 promoting safe sex see here it says um that an hiv here we go an hiv organization is supplying bodice yon with condoms and his previous work as an activist for hiv and aids organizations is influencing his work it's kind of a social project he said i'm going to be promoting safer sex Definitely. I'm sure, uh, you know, high school kids, not even just high school kids, but anyone, any kid, child, 10 year old, 8 year old that has access to the internet, I'm sure if they just, you know, happen to come across this documentary of him hooking up with 365 different guys uh, every single night for a year, I'm sure that that would definitely help shape their mind to want to have safe sex. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I guess it would. Of course, they might want to have uh, sex every day for a year like this guy. That could, you know, eight-year-olds are impressionable. Uh, so it just shows the degeneration of society. It'd be, you know, if this guy is so lonely, uh, wouldn't it, you know, wouldn't fill your time with something of value, okay? Honestly, if you're that big of a nympho, go, go for it. But you don't have to actually do a documentary as if you're helping someone, as, as, as if it's uh, promoting safer sex, that's a fraud. Uh, so this is just trying to get attention. Uh, maybe he's, he thinks he's going to find his true love by having sex with 365 different guys every day for a year. I doubt that's going to happen. I really doubt. What he really should be concentrating on, if I was going to do something of value, if I was this guy and I wanted fulfillment, I would uh, try to figure out why the divorce rate in America is, uh, you know, at record highs. It's like 60% of couples don't stay together. Families are broken up. Kids don't have uh, real families. They don't really have parents. Uh, and it's just how it would make more sense for him, instead of being so lonely, adopt some children. I mean, really? Uh, I mean, yeah, he's probably got some issues. I mean, this guy's willing to have sex with 365 guys <laughs> in a year. I mean... He's probably got some issues, but honestly, we need to, I mean, look at this guy. I mean, I don't really want him having kids, but I mean, it would probably, if he had a desire to want to uh, adopt children, that would be more of a value than trying to have sex with uh, and find your mate every single day with a different guy attempting to find love. That's not how you find love. Uh, 
but it just shows our society we're obsessed uh we're just obsessed with uh mindless this mindless culture it's just you know i'm bored uh, it's like does he have a job i mean we Shouldn't he be trying to just get a job and maybe do something of value? I mean, research uh, and try to expose corruption in government uh, and try to form a better future. Is this going to form a better future? <laughs> I highly doubt it. But anyway, there's much to be said. I mean, this guy could be doing a lot uh, more things of value like uh, exposing Skull and Bones, the Illuminati, uh, Bilderberg Group, uh, the group of London or Britain and uh, IRA uh, I'm sorry RIAA Royal Institute of International Affairs uh, I mean, you can do things like that you know expose the Council on Foreign Relations for what it is but he doesn't expose the Federal Reserve for uh, their policies of inflation I mean we need can we not really find time I mean, there's so much to do no one should be bored uh, we're being attacked at all levels and uh, we're in a battle. It's an intellectual battle and this is not going to help. <laughs> so anyway, good luck, Misha, um, uh, with whatever you're going to attempt. I, uh, gay guys, watch out. I mean, he, he might be coming for you. Stew website and off. Subscribe.